Hi, welcome back. I'm Tevil, and if you like DIY and crafts, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any crafting adventures. Today, I need to make some curtains for this. It's a little too bright in here during certain times of the day, especially in the morning. And if I want my kid to sleep, it needs to be darker. So in order to accommodate the theme of this room, I decided to make some leaf curtains to hang on that branch curtain rod. So if you wanna see how that turns out, stick around and I'll see you at the end. The felt had fold lines that I needed to get out. So the first thing was to iron it, but there's no felt setting on my iron. So I looked it up. In case you ever need to iron some felt, set your iron to low wool, constantly moving the iron so you don't scorch it, but be careful not to stretch it either, and keep flipping it over to alternate sides. My conclusion is ironing felt sucks. I need to stiffen this up just a bit, so I'm adding some fusible shear weight interfacing. This comes in a 15 inch by three yard roll, so I have to do it in sections. I kept the same low wool setting and ironed the interfacing just enough to bond the fabrics together, but making sure not to burn it. Now it's time to sketch out the shape. I have this leaf stamp as inspiration. It's somewhat heart-shaped with a lower dip at the top, but I'm nervous that it won't hang like that. So mine is going to be more heart. Or maybe I'm just hiding some extra love in these curtains. And it's cutting time. After I cut one, I used it to shape out the second curtain but I made the second one a little bit bigger and I softened the bottom when I cut it out because no two leaves are exactly the same. I decided to use the leftovers from the opposite color to make the contrast areas for the leaf cutouts. At first, I tried to draw it out in reverse, but then I just cut them. In hindsight, I could have made stencils out of paper first to make sure I got the shape I wanted. I didn't have very much leftover felt to work with, but thankfully, I pulled it off. I was gifted some felt glue a few months ago, and it's going to be perfect for this craft. It does take three to four hours to dry, so I had to plan accordingly. I just flipped the pieces over where they are, glue the back, and flip them back over. I made sure to get enough glue so it would soak into the felt and the interfacing, but not so much that it came out of the sides very much. I mean, I did my best. What did come out, I just cleaned up with a paper towel. Make sure to press the felt down to get a good bond between the pieces. I then cut some strips in the opposite color and glued them to the back. I'll use these to hang the curtains from the rod. I'm gonna use these Velcro dots to help make hanging easier. I'll keep the backing on so that I can adjust as needed to get the right spot and then stick the second part of the Velcro down. And now it's time to hang them. I'm just going to move the strip pieces up and down until I find the perfect placement for the leaf. As I move the pieces of the strip up and down, the leaf itself moves up and down. Then I can take the backing off of the other Velcro and secure it to the part of the leaf that will allow it to hang in the way that I want. I'd say that's a pretty big change and a pretty big leaf. I hope you enjoyed this episode today and I hope that it inspired you to go and craft something a little different. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button down there so you don't miss out 
on any crafting adventures. See you next time.